Hello, welcome to my channel, Claudemir here again. Let's talk today about light compensation for a security camera. As you can see here, I have a scenario with bright light. I have a bright sky here in Florida. And here there is a shadow area and I can't see the cars here very well. Let's fix that with the Amcrest camera. I'm talking here about a professional camera. That's why you need to buy professional cameras, guys. If you have a situation like this, you can fix it. So let's come here to set up. And here, depending on the camera, uh, there are different names. Here for Amcrest, it's under BLC mode. BLC stands for backlight compensation. There are different types of backlight compensation. Let's see here, right now it's off. I can use, for example, BLC, okay? So BLC is going to prioritize some area. As you can see here, I have a square. And now I want to see the car. So I'm moving the square here to this area, okay? So it gets brighter. As you can see here, it's much, much better. Now I can see better here, but look at the sky. It's too bright now, okay? If your camera only have only has BLC, that's what you have to do, okay? Use BLC at least to compensate for the thing you wanna see. That's the car here. And if you don't care to this area, you're not going to see something on the sky, that's good, okay? It is what it is. If you don't have extra features like WDR, you're gonna see in a while here, use BLC, okay? Uh, WDR cameras are more expensive, okay? So let's just bring here the software so you can see better on full screen while we're working here. So we're just going to open and log in the Amcrest Surveillance Pro. Come here in live view, bring the camera so you can see better. You see, I, the car is good here, but it's too bright on the sky, it's too bright here because I'm using BLC, but I can fix that. I can use uh, WDR instead. Let me come here to WDR now. And as you can see, it's much, much better. Now I can see the sky. I can see the cars here, but the image still doesn't look good. Looks a little bit fake, you see? Let me just come back here. As you can see here, it's much, much better now, but Somehow the image is not that good. Let me just come back here to set up. I'm just do this so I can see better on full screen. Here I just wanted to change the WDR settings here. Let me just bring it down a little bit. And as you can see here, it's better now. Okay. Don't apply too much. Okay. You can bring it down a little bit more. Let's see when it's good, a little bit more, around 40 here, 39, 40, that'll be okay. Okay, looks good to me now, okay? Let's just compare it to the way it was before with off. You see, there's a lot of shadow here with WDR now, much, much better. And BLC, as you can see, BLC is also good here in the shadow areas, but it's not good here in the bright areas. So let's leave with WDR, okay? As you can see, there are other options here, such as HLC, but it's for another kind of application, okay? So WDR and BOC is better here for this example. WDR, the best one, okay? So that's the way it works. I'm using here an Amicrest camera. As you can see, there's a lot of options here for exposure, picture, I can change a lot of stuff here, white balance to have better color. Let me just pour here outdoor so I can have better color here. Okay, so I have day night and a lot of different options here. This is one of the menus. I have a lot of different menus here to control my camera. When using a professional camera, that's what you get. You get uh, features, get resources you can work with, okay? So that's all. Uh, I hope you like this video. I hope I can help you. If you uh, like this video, just leave your thumbs up, your comments, and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.